What happens at Solemn Vows is, is important for Dominican because it's a definitive yes to the will of God in one's life. And this yes is an imitation and union with Jesus' yes, who was, as Philippians tells us, obedient to the point of death. It's a radical choice to live in total imitation of Jesus and to do what he said in Matthew 19, if you wish to be perfect, go sell your possessions, give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. I, Brother Chrysostom Mayinka, make profession and promise obedience to God, to Blessed Mary, and to Blessed Dominic, and to you, Brother Christopher Fadok, it's in solemn vows that you make the final decision to take vows for life. But I will be obedient to you and to your successors until death. Dominican life is summed up for me in 1 Corinthians 13. If I speak in the human or angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or clanging cymbal. If I have faith so as to move mountains, but don't have love, I am nothing. For me, coming up to Solemn Vows, I really only have one thing in mind, is to give my heart to Jesus, wholly, exclusively, permanently, until death.